there. So today I wanted to talk to you about improving balance. So there are some people who would tell you to improve your balance, you should just practice balancing on one foot. And this does not work. And the reason this does not work is that when you practice balancing on one foot, you're overwhelming your sensory motor system and it can't take in the information about how to improve your balance. So what we need to do instead is to find a position in which we are balanced, but then start perturbing it just a little bit so the brain can figure out how to adjust little by little and improve the balance. So one way to do this is to just maybe take one arm in front of you, whichever arm you prefer, and just start to turn with your arm. And just start to notice how you do this. And start to notice where it is you start feeling a little bit teetery. And don't go that far. Stay always within um, your ability to stay stable. Now the first thing to notice about balancing is when you are turning, where is your center of gravity? Where are your ground forces? So I've noticed that people will turn and they'll put their weight on the opposite foot. And this is going to not make it stable at all. So what you want to do is make sure that your turning, your turning radius is right over your foot that you're turning in that direction. And this will improve it right away. So just take yourself a little bit to the side and then find a place where you can stop where you're stable. Don't go too far where you're not stable. Find a place where you're stable and now in this place, start to perturb the system a little bit. So maybe just take your head a little bit left and right. And the head has your vestibular system in it, which is in your ears. And that um, is our primary center for our balance. So this is perturbing the system even though it's not a very big movement. And then just see what happens. Maybe you're a little bit more stable now. And now find a place of stability. And now move your arm a little bit, maybe up and down. And let your eyes follow the movement. Our balancing is in our head, so perturbing the head a little bit will also help. So do that a few times, and then resume your turning, and just noticing if your range may be getting a little bit bigger. And mark a spot on the wall so you can keep track. So now find another place, and now take your arm left and right. And again, watch your hand. And then come back and rest your arm whenever you need to. So now, take your arm to that place again. And now do little circles. And keep the circle small so that you're not overwhelming your ability to balance. You're keeping it within something that's easily adjustable. You change directions. And you can play with letting the circle get big and letting the circle be small. Just staying within your ability to stay balanced. And then come back and rest for a moment. And you're probably not aware of, um, we have these sets of muscles, opposing muscles. We have muscles in the front and the back that are opposing muscles and on the side. And when opposing muscles, when one side um, contracts, the other side has to let go and vice versa. So what we have in our legs and in fact in our whole body are these sets of opposing muscles that are doing a veritable ballet of letting go and contracting 
to keep us up in standing. So when we're turning like this, these muscles are communicating with each other to know exactly how much one needs to let go and how much one needs to contract to keep us standing upright. So when we perturb it, they perturb just a little bit and they learn. So it's like our nervous system is recording um, the best system for us to stay upright. So now take your arm and see if you can go a little bit farther and see if your balance is improved in this range. And another thing you could do is to just take your eyes left and right. And this is amazing how just taking your eyes left and right, I can feel it in my feet that they're having to adjust to keep me balanced. And then come back. And then one last thing I can think of. Take yourself to a stable place. And now with your arm, light your knee. And come back. And just notice how much smoother it is, how much easier you can stay on your feet. Notice where the pressure is on your feet, if it's on the, more on the outside edge, the inside edge, the front or the back. And then you can do the same thing on the other side. 